and I don't know if you like, in Bangladesh, else in Bangladesh in the it was not it, it was pretty different from your perspective. So I, I mean, in most in of the people uh, were not very aware of it, and they were actually not aware of it. I already know that the time of my experience was The world closed up on us, left us in four walls to consider our akhlaq. Let us use the internet as our only safety. The world closed up on us, amplified our voices online, told us to not take no for an answer, to fight for what we think is right, to transform the narrative, all from the comfort of our homes. My name's Amira Saleh, and I'm a spoken word artist born and raised in Birmingham. My name is Natasha Malik, I'm a visual artist based in Islamabad, Pakistan. Hi, my name is Jogar the Artist. I'm from Birmingham. My name is Sharon Danda and I'm from Birmingham. I'm Abdul Qadir, Qadir Chatyal. I'm from Lahore. I'm a visual artist. My name is Shasmeen and I'm from Birmingham. My name is Azizi Fahmi Khan. I'm a visual artist. I live in Bangladesh. I'll be focusing on how we were in isolation on the inside while living in our fast-paced lives the feeling of alienation in our urban society and how we have been disconnected from nature. The area of isolation I'm focusing on in my artwork is around the monotony of lockdown during a 24 hour period. I will be exploring the feelings of keeping my head above water, how loneliness affected my mental health and escaping the claustrophobic trap I was forced into. In my work for this project, I wanted to create a psychological portrait of what the experience of lockdown, particularly isolation, was for me. It has been a time of intense self-reflection, but also one of sadness and disorientation. The area of isolation I'm exploring in my artwork is the balance between the individual experience and the societal experience. I want to focus on those small moments that have provided peace for me and people that I have spoken to, where the world, internal struggles, panic and anxiety have felt still ever so briefly. These moments have appeared mundane or overlooked before, but during isolation some things have provided a new and different kind of serenity for me, and I want to explore the power within that. The area of isolation I'm exploring in my artwork is compromise and finding new ways of continuing with important parts of life. With cultural and religious occasions taking new forms, I want to explore how different cultural milestones and celebrations have occurred in lockdown and how their significance has changed while using images to counter pejorative narratives around minorities in the UK that have been present during the pandemic. The area of isolation that I am exploring in my artworks is repetition, being bound to just one place during lockdown. Looking at the same walls and not needing to change attire or entertain others. Our living style changed dramatically overnight. The richest and the poorest all suffered the same disease. Spread around us like wasps under attack. From Birmingham to Pakistan travelled to Bangladesh and further. And some of us took it on fought through and survived. Some of us gave up and let it win, but some of us took it as a chance. We are here, making, collaborating, rebuilding and connecting. We are designing through Zoom, feeling empathy for other countries, exploring a new world. Technology has been amazing in terms of keeping people going, keeping people together. I think working from home, from March up until November, December is something that I never imagined being normal, but actually it becoming a new normal and finding ways to stay connected with, you know, your colleagues, um, speaking face to face online. Of course, it's different and it's not the same, but it's better than it's something better than nothing, I think anyway. You see so many people coming together, you know, throughout protests and you know people campaigning the way they did it was online and you know when used correctly social media and and the power of connecting online it's it's universal you know everyone in the world nearly has access to some sort of 
online platform where they can hear about injustice or where they can help you to campaign or whether someone can help out financially for someone who's struggling. So I think the power of connection is really what's made technology tremendous throughout lockdown. The advantages of using technology during lockdown was that we were still able to connect with each other from all over the world, from Birmingham to Dakar, Islamabad, all the way to Lahore. Another great advantage was being able to hold group meetings from the comfort of your own home. Despite everyone being so far away, it was like we were all communicating from one room, sharing stories, ideas and experiences, which made the meetings relaxing and a lot more personal. In my eyes, the advantages of using technology during lockdown would be how it helped us stay connected and keep our sane despite being stuck in our rooms and how we have come to learn new ways of using it to our benefit. The facility was always there but wasn't being utilized properly. I really like how virtual art exhibitions, art talks, seminars are becoming the new normal these days, so many possibilities. It was very fortunate to be able to have continuous access to technology during this time. Technology has facilitated a continuous flow of information between people everywhere. Connections are either maintained or new connections or relationships are built as all of us are going through a shared, extremely trying time. Personally, the accessibility to various institutions around the world through online lectures, for instance, which was never really a possibility before the pandemic, affected my artistic practice in a really powerful way. This kind of engagement has kept me keyed in with research and debate within the art world. I have been able to interact with people who I probably would not have known otherwise, which has really kept me grounded and gives me something to look forward to when we can all meet with a sense of comfort and security again. Lockdown has increased the usage of technology throughout the world. People have shifted from their manual work to digital. It has brought remarkable benefits in every field. Lockdown situation, I connect with all my friends, families on mobile. So that helped me a lot and update me a lot. So for me, technology is like now I'm very used to technology. I cannot live without technology. <laughs> I cannot live without mobile and uh, laptop, my laptop. The advantages of using technology during lockdown are still being able to feel a part of someone's life even if you're not physically there and being able to access any type of entertainment or distraction that you might need especially right now whether that be something to watch something to make you laugh something to learn about or being able to get hold of someone you love instantly we're looking at our windows socially distanced dinners with neighbors clapping our key workers together. Jobs that were once laughed upon are now the only ones holding us up. Our society only needs to function with our frontline workers. Our bin people, our cashiers, our doctors, our nurses, our police, our fire, our ambulance services, our teachers, our drivers, our cleaners, our carers, our artists. So when we go back to our jobs and we don't say thank you to the driver who just dropped us off, or we judge the cashiers, when we don't fund the arts, Remember what kept us through lockdown, quarantine, isolation. My key takeaways from being part of Collaboratis would be getting to know and collaborate with versatile artists from different cultural backgrounds since this is my very first international art project. It was so amazing how we all shared similar sufferings during this pandemic, though everybody had a different story to share. I learned so many new things from different times and cultures to personal content making. It really helped me connect and grow beyond my psychological as well as geographical barriers. My key takeaways from being part of the Clever Artist 
was the amount of new information that I got to learn, which I can now apply to my own. Being part of an art project of this magnitude was a first for me, so I particularly enjoyed listening to my fellow artists talk about their artwork, their methods and processes, and what art meant to them through their eyes. By being a part of Collabor Artists, I've definitely appreciated the importance of making my work accessible to a wider audience. I have really enjoyed understanding how to document my work in different ways and utilizing social media more confidently to share it. As a result, I've become more open about sharing my work and receptive to feedback about it. It has truly been a privilege to be able to collaborate creatively during a pandemic and build new relationships with fellow artists. We have had really meaningful conversations about each other's experiences and artistic processes. Most importantly, we have been able to support and encourage each other as creative people, albeit from a distance. I believe that from a psychological point of view, this support is a key motivator to keep creativity flowing, given how this time has been difficult and isolating in so many ways. One of my key takeaways from being part of Collaboratis was getting to experience lockdown through the lens of someone on the other side of the world. Um, seeing the similarities and differences based on where you are geographically was actually amazing. You know, telling people things like the toilet paper crisis here and also kind of nurturing my artistic skills by working with other people. I think it's great to work with other artists because you see that you're often in the same position of thinking no one sees your art as, as good. Um, but actually when you're working with really talented people, you see the benefits and you know the talents in their work and they often point out yours. So it's mutually beneficial and it's actually a great learning opportunity. My key takeaways from being part of Collaboratists are a unique sense of perspective from hearing about different experiences of quarantine in different places, a relieved sense of pressure that I placed on myself to have a creative identity, but instead have learnt to allow for that identity to develop and form through my creative work as a process, a massive appreciation for the personal insight that I gained into the creative methods and thinking around some of the artist's work. And lastly, knowing about some of the fantastic artists that I might not have come across naturally, but now can really appreciate in depth and keep up with their work. As this is my first international project, in this collaboration I learned a lot from other fellow artists on Zoom discussions. I came to know a different perspective on one platform and got chance to express my thoughts on lockdown in our region. We were singing to John Legend Instagram gigs, dancing to TikToks, selling paintings to raise money. We were all creating. We protested together. We socially distanced together. We wore masks together. We and back our hands together. We Zoom fatigue together. In all of this, we knew we would be okay, because we were in this together. What proof could that be if not that we need each other in this world? To survive, to live, to enjoy, to be.